The next speaker is Dr. Eric Nochi. He is, his, the title of his talk is The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google. Disaster Information Toolkit for the 21st Century. Recently returned from Haiti, Dr. Nochi has 25 years experience working in global health, disaster relief, humanitarian assistance, reconstruction, emergency preparedness, and crisis monitoring. He has worked at the Center for Disease Control, Johns Hopkins University, with governments and with international organizations such as USAID, the World Health Organization, UNICEF, and the World Bank. Thank you very much. I'm uh, absolutely uh, delighted to be here for a variety of reasons. Uh, number one, uh, I've known Professor Redmond. Uh, this is probably the 20th anniversary just about of when I first met him. Uh, following uh, the uh, Armenia earthquake uh, in 
four events which changed the, the way I practice disaster medicine and that changed my life. And the first one was when I first met uh, Professor Redman in the Armenia, the Armenia earthquake. That was a landmark event. Uh, Rwanda refugee crisis in summer of 
experience. And so I, what I did was, uh, uh, it, it was about that time that the whole issues of we must make NGOs accountable because we're spending so much money. Uh, I mean, the, like I said, billions of dollars, uh, but we're not asking how they're spending it. We're not asking what they, did they do with all this money. Uh, there have been reports uh, left and right coming out of Iraq that money has been going into a black hole, which is true. Uh, and uh, certainly, if you look at development, Haiti was a classic black hole. Uh, lots and lots of money for long-term projects. What was it spent on? You might think that these are just basic business practices, uh, accountability, uh, performance, evaluation of performance, better business practices, basic business. Uh, these things that uh, if you uh, uh, were running a, a, a large company to your own small shop, if you didn't do that, you'd be, you'd be out of business. And so what I did was uh, I decided to go back to school, and I went back to my university, Stanford University, which uh, I must say uh, had a tradition of uh, very unique in the United States, at least, and maybe around the world, that for 50, 60, 70 years, there were close relationships between faculty and the private sector. Um, we had the professors of engineering, Professor Hewlett, Professor ha Packard, as active faculty were allowed to go and found a company because they're complaining that the advances that Stanford was making, amazing advances, were never getting into the market where that's where these things would be used. And uh, great credit to the university that allowed them to do that. And they were pilloried uh, by the ivory tower academic community in the United States, the uh, Harvards, the Yales, uh, Berkeley's, uh, but uh, that tradition in, in the 70s, uh, the establishment of Apple, Intel, AOL, 
well. 